the Malamohonua voice is not just from Hawaii, but it's from all of Polynesia. It's about the whole family, the whole Ohana Bahai. The whole thing about the ocean connecting us rather than dividing us, the same thing applies not just for Hawaii, but for the world. Our shores touch each other. Looking at a voyage will take Hokulele from Hawaii for three years. It would be sailing at least 45,000 nautical miles. It would be by far the most dangerous thing that we would ever consider doing as a voyaging family. The risks are huge, but on the other side, the possibilities are enormous. We're not going to change the world, but we're going to go and build a network of people around the earth who are going to change it. And our job is to help them be successful. This voyage launched 2,000 years ago. This voyage is in the wake of the world's greatest explorers and greatest navigators of the time, of the whole Earth. Um, and that, that is an argument that we can stand on. I mean, that first canoe that came here 2,400, 2,500 miles from Kaikinui was the most amazing feat in ocean exploration of all time. We are children in that wake, and we respect that. The Worldwide Voyage, in my mind, started with the dream of those who created the canoe in the first place. It's remembering everything that we know from Voyage and we were taught from extraordinary leaders, extraordinary mentors, extraordinary teachers. Nearly 40 years ago, the founders of the Polynesian Voyaging Society dreamed of rebuilding a double-hulled canoe similar to those of our ancestors. And on March 8, 1975, Hokulea was born, birthed here in the waters of Hakipu'u. While she was a sight to behold, she wasn't complete. She needed a leader, an ancestral connection. What Hokulea needed was a navigator. And she found him, a native of the remote atoll of Satawal in Micronesia. Pius Mau Piailu was a Po navigator. Po meaning light. Mao commanded much more than the helm of sailing vessels. He was a mentor and guide for his community, charged with providing for the ohana, immediate and extended. We all carry our part of him with us. If I wanted to know anything about the stars, the ocean, about the wave, it's just like give me the answer right there. It's like a living ancestor that you could, you could finally talk to. Here's one man from this tiny island that was able to change the world. What began as an effort to disprove critics who doubted Polynesians' ability to sail purposefully and settle their vast nation unaided by navigational instruments has grown into a cultural reawakening, a new generation of leaders, and a living commitment to sustainability. You know, she was built for one voyage in 1976 to go to Tahiti and come back. That was it. But the fact that here we are in 2014, she's been re-energized and rebuilt, and she's good for another 30, 40 years. And she's gonna sail. She originally sailed to rediscover, then to reconnect. And now she's circling the globe carrying a message of Malama Honua, or caring for planet Earth, as we struggle with the degradation of our land and oceans, with the firm belief that our ancient wisdom will inspire contemporary solutions. We wouldn't be here today if our ancestors didn't figure out how to live in balance with their environment and with these islands. There is a lesson in going back to traditional practices or finding some way of bridging the gap between what is modern and ancient and making life livable and healthy and safe. The canoe is such a good representation of a family or a community or an island or a planet and everything that happens on that small level of the canoe, it's the same thing, it's just on a much larger scale in the world. Well, yeah, to us to go around the world has this enormous potential to go to 40, 50 countries on the planet, to be with the great navigators on Earth. And I'm not talking about those in canoes. I'm talking about those who are doing things to give kindness and compassion 
to the earth and those who live on it. Those navigators. Hokulea to me is not going to achieve that. People achieve that. Then Hawaii can give the world the greatest gift to the earth, and that is peace. To drive this global movement of Malama Honua, when we come back, we take a look at how this traditional canoe is prepared to take us all on a state-of-the-art virtual voyage. To build a sustainable Hawaii, we nurture the aina, and the aina nurtures us. The seasons progress, and so do we. Our values keep us rooted as we seed ancestral wisdom with new ideas. And hand in hand with the community, we grow Hawaii's future. My name is Keone. Aloha, my name is Ikaika. My name is Hale. And we are Nahoa. And you're watching. TV. Our mission is to inspire all people to Malama Honua or to care for island earth. Our earth needs help. And so this voyage is really just a catalyst to get people to feel like they're a part of a movement. If we want to have a world that's gonna be sustainable, we need to teach children sustainability. If you want a world that we're gonna protect our environment for their grandchildren, then you need to teach that. We are encouraging people through stories of hope and stories of place to look for ways that we can malama our earth that are linked to local, indigenous, ancestral, ecological wisdom and to share those stories with the world and really figure out a way to bring that into schools and to have that help to inspire education to be better and to put students at the center of designing a better future. And so one requirement of every crew member is that they okay. reach out to their local school or organization to really truly have like a face-to-face -face and a more deeper personal connection with this voyage. <laughs> this voyage is a little different from previous voyages where previous voyages might have been to, to find an island, to close the Polynesian Triangle. Uh, this voyage is all about bringing community with us. And helping to make that possible, Hokulea's sister canoe, Hikianalia. Named after the star known in English as Spica, Hikianalia is the companion star to Hokulea, rising together in the night sky just over Hawaii. Appropriately, Hikianalia is also Hokulea's companion va'a on this worldwide voyage, serving as the technology and communications platform. Satellite transmission of video updates and still photos happen in near real time, allowing for unprecedented engagement with communities back home and across the globe. There's been various variations of this over the years, but I think we're really pushing on the edge of what technology will allow us to do. Maui Tautaha is a video journalist working for OEV TV. The Native Hawaiian Television Network has a crew member on board each va'a to capture and chronicle the voyage as it unfolds. Yes, check the connections in. But my one contribution I believe that I bring to the canoe is to help tell its story. And I think it's important because the message of Malamu Honua, the whole purpose of this voyage is to spread awareness about what's happening in this world and to try and change perspectives and behaviors so that we make sure there's still a healthy world for our, our Mo'opuna to have. Say we're going to hooky this patch. That's how large it needs to be of a network of people benefiting from this. Otherwise, if you're not going to be able to measure the impact of what these canoes are going to do for our communities, why take the risk? So one of the ways that we would like to include everyone on this voyage is our third canoe. We call it Hokulea.com. Everything you need to know about how to track the voyage, how to talk to our crew members by asking them questions, 
Uh, how to adopt the voyage and share what your community is doing around the world uh, is all through Hokulea.com. So that instantaneous feeling of, wow, I'm with these crew members and I'm voyaging with them and now I can do something for my community. I think that's what we need to drive action. As Hokulea is guided by the wisdom of our ancestors, Hikianalia also offers contemporary solutions to some of the world's most pressing issues through modern scientific research aimed at the goal of Malama Honua. Mantacho on the water! One of the ways that we're trying to accomplish that is to better understand the ocean or the different places that we're visiting and to try and learn from what we observe or from what different cultures or communities share with us about how they manage their resources. Crew members will be assessing the current state of the ocean's ecosystems by gathering data from their fish project, looking at what marine life throughout the world are feeding on, and also through their plankton tow project, giving even more insight into the state of our oceans around the globe, all of which will enhance the learning experience for our keiki here at home. If not only for the experience of being able to apply what we're learning, but if anything, just those connections that we make will be a really big part of my life. As Hokulea and Hikianalia set sail on their most ambitious voyage, crew members are mindful of the impact that will be made well after the canoes reach their final destinations. We've been talking about how do you measure a successful voyage, that this was worth it. For me, it's truly to see a movement happening. Because the canoe is voyaging for our community, I'm really excited in 2017 when we sail back to every community in Hawaii and even around the world to collect stories of what are they doing because the canoes took this chance. Would you take the chance? Find out what it takes to be a crew member as we look at the training and preparation that went into getting both crew and va'a ready for this epic voyage. With the wind in our sails, the worldwide voyage is well underway. We'll sail to ports across the globe and meet people from the far corners of the earth to collectively chart a global course towards caring for our beloved island Earth. Join us on this epic voyage at hokulea.com. The eyes of our keiki reflect the adventure of learning. We're investing nearly $50 million in early education every year to help ensure that the adventure lasts a lifetime. Before embarking on this three-year quest to Malamahonua and raise awareness about the importance of caring for our planet, Hokulea needed some TLC herself. More than 35 years of sailing and over 150,000 nautical miles had taken its toll on her. But as it's been since the day she was born, Hokulea drew her ohana together. People would just show up and help us do all the nasty work that we had to do to break her down and put her back together. The work was all done, all with aloha, all in love. 18 months and over 26,000 man hours later, she was 2,000 pounds lighter, 22 inches wider, more sturdy and safe than ever before. I think what we're looking at now is we're looking at a rebirth, if you will, Hokulea that will probably be good for 25, 30, 35 years. I don't think they're gonna have to have this major bolt building campaign again until the next generation is my age. The canoe is different. This canoe is designed that its beneficiaries are children that aren't born. Nurturing and raising new generations of alaka'i has become top of mind for Hokulea's current leadership. You know, my role now, is, to me, is clear. Because when I look back at you know, the blessings I've had 
Because of my teachers, my job is to do just a fraction of what they did for me for the next generation. And so I, I take what I have, and I take the gifts of the training and navigation, and I create the opportunity for someone to take it, take it from me. You take someone like Kailani Murphy, she can find Tahiti, she, she just has to be given opportunity. That's what the World Wide Voyage is about, create the opportunity. It's a heavy kuleana that a lot of us do take seriously. And I think the teachers that we have that invested their time in us are kind of having faith that their students will maintain all that Hokula has done up until now and then continue that into the future. They're going to go on this worldwide voyage. It's going to change them. And they will change us. In addition to the navigator and apprentice navigators, each of the other crew members carry specific roles on board. There's a captain, watch captains, a safety officer, quartermaster, and cook, just to name a few, all of whom have been training long and hard for this voyage. This voyage has raised the bar a little bit more, and it's really in that sense of getting everyone to that point to accept the kuleana of being prepared, whether it's mentally, spiritually and physically. And in addition to the physical training required on board the canoe, all Holokai must also pass a physical test that includes timed running, swimming, and water treading in order to make the crew list. And this is the first time that it has been this intense in that sense of the physical requirements. It's making sure that when their time comes to be on the canoe, that they'll be at their best. All those on board have also gone through classroom instruction, medical screenings, and various safety trainings to ensure they are truly makaukau or ready to be part of the crew. Everybody's got to be accountable, not only for themselves, but uh, for the safety of the rest of the crew members. For every hardworking crew member on board the Va'a, there's a network of ohana on land, thousands strong, who help to prep and continually support the voyage. After we pack it all, then we inventory of everybody, check every package, then we weigh it, then we manifest it, and then the crew gets ready to load it on the canoes. More than 1,500 pounds of food and 300 gallons of water are methodically packed into the hulls of the canoes to provision these multi-leg, long-distance voyages. For us guys on the canoes, on the va'a, it's all about balancing so that when we're sailing, you know, she stays sea kindly and, you know, she's not heavy to one side. Or... It's just part of staying organized. If we can put organization in, then we're heading in the right direction. Everything else will flow really nicely. Hokulea and her holokai, or crew members, were packed, prepped, and nearly ready for their journey beyond the shores of Hawaii. But first, a voyage of aloha to mahalo and reconnect with ohana right here at home. When we come back, before leaving to Malama the entire honua, Hokulea and Hikianalia sail to Malama, Hawaii. Aloha nui o wau no o Aaron Sala. Aloha o wau o Snowbird Bento. A na na maua ya o TV. After 40 years of honoring ancestors, revitalizing cultural identity, and reclaiming non-instrument navigation, connecting communities, and encouraging environmental awareness, Hokulea is now championing a global movement to care for our island earth. I'm inspired by its global mission. Join the movement and sail along with us at hokulea.com. Aloha mai ena mamua haloa mai ke kahi au au ai ke kahi au au aku o ke ia pai aina. E ia mako na hoa o kaleo oivi. E launa mai noi ke ia ha ule lau ma oivi TV nei. Um, what did she just say? Stick around, you'll find out. Bye-bye. Kaleo Oibi, a new Hawaiian language learning series now on Oibi TV, digital channel 326, and online at oibi.tv.
it's a voyage to bring respect and to aloha and, and make sure that our communities in Hawaii knew that we took the time and we took the effort and we took the energy to connect with them, to link with them, and to, in a respectful, humble way, explain why we're doing this voyage. And in that moment of engagement, try to work to make sure that this voyage is their voyage. Awesome! <laughs> Knowing where we come from, it gives us the clarity of who we are today and then what we gotta do and uh, move forward to tomorrow. Having spent time visiting their many communities here in Hawaii, and after years of training and preparation, Hokulea and Hikianalia left Oahu after a celebration with hundreds of family and friends. We have the youngest Sonu of the family here, Hikianalia, about to follow the tutu of it all, you know, with Hokulea, and everyone in between that's a love of voyaging or a love of the ocean or just loves Hawaii is down here to see this family keep growing and the story continues, so it's just exciting to be a part of it. Hilo was selected as the final port before departing Hawaii as the easternmost part of the state. It made sense not just from a navigation standpoint, but also symbolically. To me, the voyage needs to begin in the light, and it needs to begin in the first light. The whole process of a voyage is community engagement. There's a lot of opportunity for people just to come down, to talk, to look at the canoes. It's just a very, very warm community feeling. We're nurtured by this community and we are welcomed here by them. Hilo's own Halau Okekuhi brought a priceless gift to the voyage with the Aha Maveke and Aha Hoakua to prepare both the va'a and the crew spiritually. The ceremony was a good time to reflect on the purpose of this voyage and then to put ourselves in that mindset of leaving. A few short days later, the winds filled in. Friends and family gathered at Palekai. With tears of joy and anticipation, songs of aloha and celebration, and the blessing of the Uakanilehua, we said aloha to our ohana and left them to the care of their mother, Hokulea, and her sister, Va Hikianalia. Take your family with you, take your amaku with you, take everybody with you. Be strong. And in the times of weakness, everybody will have it. Just look to your brothers and sisters on board, because they will carry you. There's going to come a time when you will need to carry them. Never say goodbye to your homeland. We'll see you soon. It's time to go. Join us next week for another episode as these apprentice navigators are put to the test and challenged to sail in the wake of their ancestors attempting to pull Tahiti from the sea.
One of the big questions they always ask us for the younger generation is, can you guys keep the canoe sailing? And I look around, it's not really a question, you know. It's going to be sailing because Hawaii will keep them sailing. Mahalo nui e ko Hawaii. Visit hokulea.com and OEV TV for various resources to learn more about Hokulea's history and to sail along with us and support the worldwide voyage. Aloha.